To make a breaking news, we keep you informed. Chucky Brown said, we were given money to buy guns. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Chucky Brown, the accused constable in custody since 2014, has been tried for the murder of Robert Gotti Dawkins, as well as the December 13, 2012 murders of Dwayne Douglas and Andrew Farron on the Swansea Main Road in the parish. Brown, during an August 10, 2013 recorded interview with the Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, which was replayed for the jury, alleged that the unnamed police constable gave the advice to an incoming senior superintendent of police who had been transferred from Kingston to Clarendon following the death of the SSP who had formed the squad to deal with gunmen in the parish. Brown said, when he arrived here, he told us that he was informed by the commissioner of police of our role and he must not do anything like dismantle our team because we have the team going. Chucky Brown also explained that the team was given pictures by their senior officers of wanted men to be killed. Said that after each shooting, the squad would inform the commanding officer who would then inform the commissioner's office. According to Brown, based on the work of the team, which was comprised of constables and corporals, crime went down in the parish. He said the former police commissioner and others boasted that the team was working well. He said members of the team were given medals and were even visited by a former national security minister. They keep function for us and gave us medals, everything for doing our job, he said during the interview. Brown said they were all given the resources they needed, including the guns they would sometimes plant at the crime scenes, and that when the guns run short, they were given cash to purchase firearms. In relation to the killing of the three men, Brown denied that he was the one who pulled the trigger in Dawkins' death, although he was present as he was the driver. When asked who did it, he said Constable L. He was the brave one at the time. In respect of double shooting, Brown said, I did one, the last one, a double murder by Swansea on the main road. He said, however, that another officer was also involved in that shooting and that the team had a gang member who was allegedly providing them with inside information. Brown said that the informant who was in the car at the time of the double shooting came out and fired at the police team but was allowed to escape while the other two men who were unarmed were killed. Those two are the fellows that kidnapped this girl in Mandeville and demanded two million. They were shot and killed, he added. Brown said the team had, had acted on instructions from the commanding officer or the crime officer when they carried out the various killings. We are given certain instructions on certain people who they always tell you, don't waste your time and bring them into custody, he continued. During the interview, Brown said he was forced to speak out after Adif Washington was shot dead while on a ward at the Maypen Hospital, allegedly by the team in his absence and he was blamed for the killing. After Washington was shot and injured, Brown said he warned some members of the team against ending Washington's life, but they allegedly said they had to go and finish him because he was calling names including Brown's. He said after he threatened to go to the victim's family, he was advised against doing that and promised a transfer to anywhere he wanted if he kept quiet. Brown said following the killing, he was pressured and transferred to another division. But he met with a chaplain of the constabulary and threatened to go to Indicom, Jamaicans for Justice and the media. He said he was told not to do so and a meeting was arranged with an assistant commissioner. During that meeting, Brown said the assistant commissioner was of the view that the team was doing things on its own. But he explained that they were acting on instructions. He said it was them that he was told that the new commanding officer had not been informed in the commissioner's office of the various shooting incidents. So the police high command thought that the hospital shooting was not an order. Brown said another man was killed by the team and that attempts were made to pin the hospital killing on that man. He said a ballistic test on the gun recovered from him showed that it had been used at the hospital. Chucky Brown said he was later transferred to another police division and sent on leave until the pressure died down in May Pen. Vincent Wesley, Brown's lawyer, tried to ascertain from Assistant Commissioner Campbell whether or not the police commissioner fingered had been immune from criminal sanctions, but was told that the witness could not answer the question. Constable Brown, during an interview with Indicom on September 29, 2013, in which he signed the 93 papers of the transcript of the August 10 interview, joked about signing himself into prison. 
Oh Lord Jesus, have mercy. Oh, I'm signing myself into prison now. Any time I'm done, I don't have no name left. He was heard saying on the recording. To make a breaking news, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.